My name is John McAvoy, and I work for the Federal Records Center program of the National Archives and Records Administration. This module will demonstrate how to find your records transfers using the query functionality. Let's take a look. For purposes of demonstrating and teaching you how to use the query functionality in the Arcus Customer Portal, I am going to navigate in Records Transfers, and I'm going to go to Agency Wide View down at the bottom. And again, here we have our two components. We have My Agency Workspace and we have FRC Workspace. Now, when you're looking for uh, a specific records transfer, most of the time you will see your records transfers in FRC Workspace, okay? Usually uh, transfers that are in My Agency Workspace are short-lived by virtue of the fact that we have 10 business days to approve of your records transfer upon submission to a federal record center. But to demonstrate the uh, query functionality within the uh, Arcus customer portal, I'm going to click on the Query for Records Transfer button, and you will notice that I am given a query template uh, of many, many of the fields that are available in the Arcus uh, customer portal transfer form. And uh, one of the first things that I want to teach you is are some query operators. And the first query operator today is the asterisk. The asterisk is located above number eight on your keyboard. And I am going to type in asterisk 0044. And what that's saying is, to the system is, find me anything that ends in 0044 in the transfer number box, and you don't care what's ahead of it by virtue of that asterisk. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to click Go. And lo and behold, here is a records transfer that ends in 0044. Returning to the query, this time, I'm going to type in, in the transfer number box, asterisk 0044, and we're going to introduce a new query operator, the word OR, asterisk 0045. So now that's saying, give me everything that ends in 44 or that ends in 45. Some students may say, well, shouldn't it be AND 45? And the answer is no. You can't have a transfer that ends in both 44 and 45, you can only have a transfer that ends in 44 or 45. So scrolling down to the bottom, I click Go, and my result, I have three transfers showing, one that ends in 44 and two that end in 45. And in this particular scenario, the reason that I have two transfers, same fiscal year, ending in 45, is the difference in record group number. Now, when you start looking for records transfers of your own, you may discover that you'll have multiple transfers with the same four sequential numbers, but probably the difference will not be by record group, but it'll be by fiscal year instead. So keep an eye on that fiscal year column. All right, navigating back to querying for records transfers, you can also populate multiple items in this form. For example, Give me everything that is uh, record group B21, uh, fiscal year 2011, status is shelved, record center is Philadelphia, uh, where the security classification is unclassified. So there I populated five different things, and this can help you focus in to find the transfer that you're, that you're looking for. So I go down to the bottom, I'll click go, and lo and behold, I got four individual transfers uh, that match up with all of, those, uh, all of those search items that I placed in that query box. Another thing that you should know about, and I find this one to be most helpful, is in the description of records field, what I'm going to do is type in asterisk, capital R-A-I, asterisk. This can be helpful for finding words that are embedded somewhere within the 355 characters of series description. Like if you're looking for payroll records, you might type in asterisk, P-A-Y, asterisk, and it will find anything that has a series description that has P-A-Y in consecutive letter number order there, as you state it in this query box. So let's click Go. 
And I got a whole bunch of uh, different records transfers. I'll click on any one of them. And if you notice in the series description, there are the letters RAI embedded in the word training. And that's, that can be a helpful thing for you to find out about uh, or to find your records transfer that you're looking for. Uh, from there, you can drill down, and if there is a attachment to it, you can drill down on the attachment and look at your box list from there. Uh, of note, you'll also notice if there are any freeze codes that have been applied or uh, the actual disposition authority that's been applied is also listed at the bottom of that detail page. Some other uh, navigation and query tips and tricks. You're going to navigate back to records transfers and agency-wide. Uh, you will notice here that I have these up and down arrows in each column. It is a sort capability where if you pick the up arrow, it's sorting ascending. If you pick the down arrow, it's sort descending. You can only pick on one of them at a time, unfortunately, as I did here on disposition th authority. Um, so you do have some sort capabilities. Now in this view, you can only see 25 records at a time. And you'll notice there's a toggle, a set of toggle buttons up here where you can see 20, the first 25 and then reselect and pick the next 25, etc. Uh, unfortunately, that there is no scroll bar up and down to simply scroll with your scroll wheel on your mouse. You have to click the 25 at a time button. But at the same time, uh, we tease you greatly with this reports drop-down box up here. And unfortunately, the only report that is available to you is the records transmittal and receipt SF-135 report for the particular transfer that you have highlighted on your screen. Uh, it looks very much like the old paper SF-135 that you used to create and mail to or fax or email to a record center. Um, regrettably, uh, we don't have an export function yet for reports. It is an enhancement that I hope to, uh, to be able to provide to our customers at some point down the road. Uh, if you do need reports, uh, speak to your uh, administrator for your agency. Uh, have them contact me. I'm John McAvoy, and I can get you just about any report that you need out of the uh, Arcus system with our analytics package. Uh, so that concludes uh, the demonstration of how to query for things within the Arcus customer portal. As always, help is available for the Arcus customer portal. You can access a wealth of information at the Arcus website, as well as access to all of the training manuals for all of the available components of Arcus. Link to that via www.archives.gov slash FRC slash Arcus. There too, you will find a link for the Arcus help desk entitled Get Help, and that will provide you with information about the hours of operation for the Arcus help desk in St. Louis, as well as their phone number and an email address. And lastly, you can contact your Arcus administrator.